everybody, Pete the Hybrid Guy here, and today's episode is going to focus on that pesky problem with Generation 2 Prius about the dash light going out. So before we get started on the actual problem, we're going to go over uh, what the tools are and take a look at what you need to do this project, and then we'll dive in, get this thing repaired, and get my friend Jack back on the road. So to do this job the right way, you're going to need a couple tools. If you don't have them, you can visit a local Harbor Freight store or whatever to pick up some essentials. But I'll walk you through what you need so you know exactly everything that you'll have for, for this uh, setup. So what you'll need is a 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter socket. You'll need a ratchet to go with that socket and an extension. You can either use a quarter inch or, or three eighths, doesn't matter, either way works. You'll probably want a trim removal tool. You're gonna want some angled needle nose pliers the longer the better and if you don't have a drill with a power tip on it a Phillips screwdriver is going to be the thing that you need but what's really key to this is making sure that you have the replacement capacitor before you dive in to get the project done now I've got an array of different capacitors here um, the one that I would recommend using is one that's at least a 16 volt and something over 100 microfarads. Now I've got a 16 volt, 1000 microfarad capacitor here. Um, is it overkill? Probably. But is it going to work? Absolutely. Um, I have a bunch of others that I sorted through to see if we had anything that was usable. And we came up with a couple different ones that we're going to use. This is the best size for what we've got. So let's get this over to our car, get that dash out, and let's get it repaired. So if you have a similar problem to this where none of your dash lights are operating and you've checked your dimmer switch, chances are you've got a bad capacitor on the circuit board that sits underneath the dash. So what I'm gonna do is uh, do a time-lapse story where we're gonna pull all of this trim and everything out of the way, get the dash pulled out, and then we'll look at how to repair that circuit board that sits right up there behind your in your combo cluster uh, with the new capacitor that we've got and solve this issue so up next we're going to just remove all the trim in here i'll show you the easiest way to do it uh, just follow the video with how i pull all the different panels out and be careful with your center vents and with your trim panels because sometimes the clips get old and they can break so just take your time and do it right I forgot to mention that you're going to need a little pick for this and the reason is right in here there's two screws that sit behind these little plugs that you'll see right here and right this is always the worst Anyway, there's another one right behind here. I'm going to have to work at it a little bit to get it out. But you'll take those two screws out. This glove box will come out. And then we can remove the side trim here. You'll see in the video in just a minute. And then we can pull the dash out. Easy as that. So with these uh, A-pillar trim pieces they can be a little tricky so I'm going to give you a tip on how to get these away from uh, here and get them disconnected. Peel back the weather stripping and just pop it out like that and then inside there's a little piece that's a little black piece and this is where your needle nose it's right in here right there Okay, so what we're gonna do with our needle nose is grab it and twist it so that little notch becomes straight and goes out the hole. And I'll show it to you um, right after I get it out. So this is the piece that you're twisting. It normally goes in the hole like this, but we grab it and twist it upright so it'll come out through this little hole 
um, and slide out and then it allows this to pop out and then you can remove it out of the dash. So be very careful, if you haven't disconnected your 12 volt battery already, make sure that you do, um, because we're gonna disconnect this airbag and any static electricity uh, could potentially set it off. So make sure that you've got your 12 volt disconnected. But once we can get this airbag disconnected, we're gonna go ahead and pull the dash all the way out of the car and get it on the bench to pull out our unit that sits right behind this plastic cover. And then we'll fix it from there. So to disconnect the airbag, after you've disconnected your 12 volt battery, slide this back and this connector comes right apart, just like that. Now we're ready to take out the dash, get this on the bench, get it repaired, and put it all back together. So what we're going to do next is there's a bunch of different screws on the plate here that's holding our circuit board in there. So we're going to take out the different screws, we're going to unplug all this stuff out of our way, undo our ribbon cables, and then the board itself will have a couple more screws in it and it will come out and I'll get it in my hand. So we're gonna time lapse that through so you can see the process, uh, but that's the route that we're headed. The capacitor that we're going after is right here. It's a 100 microfarad, 16 volt uh, polarized capacitor. You can see that the negative side is right here. So make sure when you're putting your new capacitor on that you get the polarity right. Otherwise, this won't work. And that's a lot of time you got to spend to just test it out. So we're going to desolder this one here. Uh, we'll get it over to the bench and then we'll get our new one soldered on and put this all back together. We're just gonna go ahead and tuck this down just like that so it fits into our, our compartment nice and tight. I've got some good, uh, good amount of solder right there on the legs. And remember, keep that negative side out where this stripe is, that's the negative side. And so um, if you have it backwards right now, switch it. Um, if not, then you're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and put all this back in the vehicle and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So before we finish putting everything back together, let's just test this thing out to make sure that it's okay. And also make sure that your dimmer is all the way up. So our dimmer was down, but you can see uh, we turn our lights off here. Everything is good to go. So we're gonna finish putting all this back together and we're ready to rock and roll. Thanks everybody for watching today. This is Pete the Hybrid Guy. If you want more tips, tricks, and everything on your hybrid, please like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at The Hybrid Guy, and I'll see you around in other videos.